Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, Venus has promising gas, Captain Cave Bear gets found in ice, and yet another new dinosaur. <laughs> Starting off the news this week, a study published in the journal Nature Astronomy has revealed the discovery of an unidentified gas in Venus's atmosphere which is assumed to be phosphine. The origin of this gas is unknown, and the study notes that there is no currently known way that the gas could be produced on Venus, and then it goes on to suggest that it could be produced biologically, suggesting that there could be life on Venus. This is of course far from confirmation, but the study does suggest an effort to determine what the sources of this gas is. It is found on Earth, produced by life of course, and it can also be produced industrially, but this, unsurprisingly, has been ruled out as a possibility for its existence on Venus. In other news, we come to a fantastic new find that has just been announced this week, the discovery of the first frozen remains of an adult cave bear. The preservation of this beast is simply incredible. The entire body is there, complete with fur, an intact nose, and even internal organs. Discovered by reindeer herders on an island in the East Siberian Sea in northern Russia, this adult bear will be able to tell us so much about the biology of these extinct animals. Additionally, the discovery of a preserved cave bear cub from the Russian mainland was also announced. These amazingly important finds will likely be revealing all kinds of new information about cave bears for decades to come, and it will be very exciting to see what researchers are able to tell from these specimens. And now over to Ben to talk to you about his new brand of shampoo. Thanks Doug. Also in the news this week is the description of a brand new genus and species of dinosaur, which is always nice to see. Named Begse after the Himalayan deity and god of war and Mongolian culture, this dinosaur is actually the most basal Neoceratopsian found so far, originating from early Cretaceous rocks in Mongolia. Neoceratopsia is the group that includes the famous Triceratops and its relatives, and the material we have of Beg is a partial skull which displays an interesting mix of basal or primitive and derived characteristics, as well as some very fragmentary bones from the body. This is also the earliest known example of a basal Neoceratopsian from Mongolia, with all others coming from later in the Cretaceous, and its position in the evolutionary tree has allowed paleontologists all kinds of new insight into the early evolution of the lineage. Finally, we come to a paper that describes a new record of a theropod dinosaur from the early Jurassic of Charmouth in Dorset. An isolated limb bone that had been assigned to Dimorphodon turns out to actually be from a small neotheropod dinosaur, and although it currently cannot be diagnosed with more detail than this, it could potentially represent a new species. This means that there might have been a much higher diversity of early Jurassic theropods in Europe than we'd previously appreciated. And now over to Doug, with the outro to this week's 7 Days of Science, where he'll be talking about how 7 Days of Science has happened this week, and also suggesting that on um, Sunday there'll be another just, video. Just cut him off. Does. In fact, okay, right. So um, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday.